Ciao, this is Esther. Alfred here. Of You, Me, and Sicily, and welcome to our channel, or welcome back to You, Me, and Sicily. We're going to take you on a little bit of a ride through some Etna towns on the other side of where we live, over here in Atucatena. I think the place that we're going to actually borders Messi province of Messina, too. There's right? some in the province in of Messina and, out, and, and Catania. We're going to zoop, 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 zoop. In the mountains. We're going to take you in to the mountains. Lingua Glossa, Piedmento et Neo, Castagnolo de Sicilia, Alcantara, and then back home. Before we get started today, I want to do a big thank you to you. Why am I saying this? Is because we had 40,000 views. Views. When? In one month. In, a, in one month. That's it's pretty good. That's thank you, thank visitors. you, thank you. That's not people who watch it, you know, twice or three times. A lot of people watch it multiple times. 40,000 unique visitors on our programming. And this is only Sicily. on our YouTube. Forget all our other streaming stuff. I'm profoundly humbled by that. And I, I want to thank you about that. That's just amazing. We love it that you're here. All right, let's go for a ride. So okay. we're going to go from our home in Atucatena, go on the highway and get off at Fiume Freddo. Now let me tell you that you're, if you're staying in Tarmina, you can also, it's pretty close, you take the Fiume Freddo exit to go on some Etna towns. And so you start out with Fiume Freddo, which means cold river. Cold river. You know why it's cold river? Because the water's cold. Because the water's cold, then it's coming down from Etna, yep. flowing into the Ionian Sea. And then we have Piedmonte et Neo. You know, the fun thing about going through these towns is that they're really non-touristy sites. If you want to see the real Sicily, how people live in small little Etna towns, these are definitely ones that you should visit. I'm telling you one thing right now. Today's uh, little journey that we're going to take, where are we going to end up, Esther? We're going to go back at, back at home. No, but I mean, what's the farthest point we're going to end up? Castagnola de Sicilia up top, and then we'll make our way down okay. to Alcantara. So we're gonna we're gonna end up in Castiglione di Sicilia. And by the way, in Massachusetts, there are lots of people named Castiglione. Did you know that? No, I didn't. Yes, there is. But in anyways, on this particular road, if you go and kept on going straight or up the mountain, and didn't come back down, and didn't come back down, and go how many clicks did you say it was? Sixty from clicks. where? From Casa uh, no, 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 how far is that? It's about 50 to 60. 50 to 60 kilometers. You begin to go down the mountain on the other side, and you could end up all the way in the province of Messina to almost to Tindity. But we're not going that far today. We're going to go. We're going to just, just stay give you over here. A, a little taste of an area that you ought to take a day with a car or a driver and see. Preferably a driver, a because driver let me tell you, some of those streets are quite narrow, uh, but to see some of these old homes. Also, this is an area that is very rich of vineyards. This is the Contrata et Nea, which uh, has the vineyards all over, the olive trees, the citrus trees. This is very much of an agricultural area, for sure. And the other thing is the different settlements that we, you can go through. Castiglione di Sicilia is the first one. And then oh, no, no, no. We start out at Fimufrato. Then okay. we go to Piedmonte. Then we go to Lingua Glossa. Now, let me tell you, Lingua Glossa, we did an entire episode on a beautiful vineyard there. The Gambino uh, brothers have a beautiful vineyard, Gambini Vini. Uh, but that's one of those other towns with great churches, cobblestone street, a great municipal building, and always something going on. For the adventurous, now this is only for the adventurous type of people, okay? Many people, they contact us all the time, and they say, you know, where should we go? I say you get off the Fiume Freddo, and you just drive, okay? Are you going to get lost? Probably not. That said, <laughs> that said, check the weather forecast for that day. Only go on a, this type of a journey on a clear day where it says it's going to be clear. Okay. You don't want to get stuck up there during this fog. Okay. The other important thing is, okay, maybe you have 
uh, Google Maps that you're using, but there's also signs that say Edna, Castagnoli di Sicilia, Lingua Glossa, blah, blah, blah. But be aware because you'll see several signs and uh, leading to the same place, and then you can get very lost. Yeah, sometimes right? you'll stop and it'll say, Randazzo that way, and then Randazzo that way. So you have to pick your poison. But it doesn't make any difference because... It's a beautiful place. It's a slow roll for you. It's going to be a slow roll. If you have a driver, like I said, it'll cost you maybe a couple of hundred euros to have a private driver. If there are four people... Minimum 250 or 300 Yeah, right. Okay, so that's 50 bucks a head. You can't do anything in Sicily for under 50 60 bucks a head. And this is a great time. And I want to give a quick recommendation. Go all the way up. Wait, we, we haven't, we're in Lingua Glossa right now. So the next town over is Castagnoli de Sicilia. Now Castagnoli de Sicilia is also the site of Picciolo Golf Course. This area of Castagnoli de Sicilia is very, very concentrated with vineyards. I think there's like 50 vineyards just in that zone around Castagnoli. And Castagnoli de Sicilia is one of those beautiful towns etched in a rock and just the drive approaching it is quite breathtaking. What did we do up there in the first the first area? Do you remember it was a famous we went to a famous villa there with a relative of mine who was staying there. That was Piedmont Adna. Piedmont Adna. And who was the famous man that owned that villa, had just passed away. See if you can remember. And we stayed there. It was a Blow me away well, type his of his last book. name was... Who was that guy? Do you remember? Yamada. Who? The Yamada. And who was Averna. that? Averna. Amada Verna. He owner. was related... No, he was related somehow to the main family. But that was a cool little town. Now, the other thing is if that you're looking... That was unbelievable. I mean, really. that villa was in the middle of nowhere. And remember, a lot of these towns don't have lights at night or no lights on the streets. So make sure that you scope Daytime. out your Daytime. villa, where it is, and make sure you can get to a store <laughs> before it gets dark. But Castagnoli di Sicilia, let me tell you, you know, we did an entire episode about a couple of uh, vineyards there. The grapes there are very, very unique. Lingua Glossa, the Gambini Vini uh, brothers that have a vineyard up there, they are at the highest level on Mount Etna, the highest elevation where a vineyard can be found. So you can imagine the adversity that goes into making some of their wines. If you're hungry, can I give a recommendation? Yeah. Okay. If you're hungry and you get to uh, the boys' place, by the boys I mean Gambini, Vini, put into your GPS system, Trattoria, Trattoria, excuse me, Don Santo. It's about 15 clicks away. And in Lingua Glossa. It's not. In, it's actually in a small little connected town, but it's on the main. Yeah, road there's a there. lot of little other smaller little towns town in a, it, in between all of these. It's a connected these. town, but Trattoria, Don Santo. That's my recommendation for you to go. It's a zero kilometer farm uh, that has the most wonderful uh, lunches. Uh, the cheeses all come from that particular farm. All the meat comes from that particular farm. They do their own pasta. Those are the best. Those that is singularly my favorite place on that whole that whole strip. Here's over. my recommendation: stop at a local bakery, get some street food, get some local things in one of the stops, or even go to a cafe. Really, those little towns, you know, it's local. You know, it's made right there, and you know it's going to be unique. You know, every time I go up there with a couple or a group, or I'm doing some kind of a tour, I stop at a couple of bread places, and the bread there is tastes much different than the breads over here, right? Can I ask you another little trivia thing? Yeah. See if you remember, which place out of all those areas up there? had a guy that was named the king of gelato. He passed no, away. No, wait a sec. He passed away, didn't he? Muzumechi. Mr. Muzumechi. Bless his soul. We did an entire video, but that's going, Alfred, over to the left. Ah, okay. We're, we went up north to Castagnola de Sicilia. If you take a left over there, you go to the town of Randazzo. Again, one of those beautiful towns with churches, quaint streets, and our friend Muzumechi's um, where we did an entire episode. That was a great 
He was a great man, God rest great his man. soul. And now his, his daughter, daughter is his daughter taking took over. over. And we want to wish her the best of luck, don't Absolutely. we? Absolutely. Okay, so now okay. we leave Castagnoli de Sicilia. We start going down to Motta Camastra. I'm telling you, it's so cool. You're just driving around, and there's a town right on the hills. But let's go now to Alcantara, which is one of the longest, I think it's the second longest river here in Sicily. It's about 30 to 40 miles ends in the Ionian Sea in two provinces, Messina and Catania. And there's a beautiful gorge with waterfall, and you can go um, uh, water rafting, swimming. The water is very fresh. Obviously, at some points, it's also very chilly. But it is a big, big spot for locals and people in the know. Alcantara. I was there a couple times this past week and all I could hear is Italian maybe a few German maybe a few others but in the middle of you know Etna and these towns is one of the biggest and most fun water tourist attractions for sure by the way Alcantara you know means the bridge it comes from Arabic the bridge that's yeah. a great attraction. You know, of course, you have to just one more thing. The Alcantara, uh, the pictures you're looking at are from the top because you have to walk all the way down and all the way up to get down there. But it's well worth it's, it. If you're not in good physical condition, there's a place that you can visit there to look. Okay, but if you can't get up and down stairs or there's a problem like that. Steep hills. Let me tell you what they have for you. Okay, they have a whole area over there full of restaurants and gift shops. Yep. Right on the facility. You can grab a bite to eat. There, there's, there's something several. for everything. There's yeah, some there, there's thing for if you don't want right. to go down. Yeah. Kid, it's a great place for kids, for sure. And by the way, that lava formation that you're looking at, where there's, you know, it almost looks like the era of Dionysius and Syracuse, that was formed from lava 30, 40, 50 thousand years ago so that's a piece of Etna it, that you can see it's all you know the movement of Etna it's not perfect but uh, definitely a beautiful place to visit you know every time I think of the gorge Alcantara Gorge I think of my good friend Roberto yeah okay because uh, Roberto built a house right on a side of a hill there and the Alcantara goes right by his house and that stream that came down by his house is the very water that we used to grow our trees. Our olive we had trees. Our olive trees when we had it at his property. Because that was the first, uh, that was the first place to sell out. We did that many years ago. Yeah. But yeah. anyway, so heading down there, there's all types of other little towns, and then you can go back to Tarmina, Jardinaxo and get on the highway. So that's your little tour of that. And in some of our other videos, we've taken you to many, many, many Etna towns, Zafarana Etnea, lots from Via Grande and Trecastani and all those other towns. But to wrap this little section up, let me just tell you that visiting Etna villages, Paesi Etnea, is a must do when coming here. Also throw in a vineyard and it's all complete or a trattoria that like Alfred suggested or one of our favorites around here and you have a complete Etna day. You know Esther as you're talking I'm thinking <clears throat> for those who want, don't want to take the time driving or getting a driver there's actually a train that goes around yeah it's called Etna Round and the people can take a train actually that actually circumvents all of Etna that's another great day. That'll take you about four hours or five hours. And we also know that there's a wine train someplace, isn't yeah. there? Yep. There's a wine train. So there's plenty to do up there. Plenty to do, okay? It's a and you've written about all of this in some of your books, right? Yes, I How's have. How's that for a segue? I've been all over the Madoni Mountains. How's that for that a segue? Pretty, that was pretty good. And speaking <laughs> about I'm the books. I'm talking about Etna. Okay, speaking about the books, uh, Jennifer's going to be coming back from Amsterdam, thank God, and I had mentioned in the last show that I'm writing a three book for $25, my last three books for $25. That you're going to personally including, sign. Including free shipping, yeah, personally sign, but I'm not going to ship them until I get there in October. Yeah. Okay, I said I had 150 books last week. I think I have 125 now. Awesome. So if you want to get some of my books it'll be three books that's the 
Now the last three, including the one that Esther's in, the last one, number four, Joy in My Heart, is actually pictures of Esther when she first got here. That's hilarious. <laughs> it's so funny. Uh, there's another. A lot of them are uh, beautiful little uh, stories, kind of like teaching you about Sicily, teaching you about Sicilian ways, but also teaching you about growing, growing up. up in a sis- bilingual Sicilian household in the United States. They're great reads. Where, by the way, many people of our listeners uh, who have read this book, uh, books, uh, later send me uh, emails saying it was just like that in my house. So if you want some good light reading, it's not, <laughs> I'm not it's Shakespeare. Good summer. It's, it's, it's good summer reading for a sure. Lot of fun. Get a hold of Esther. Just send her a message. She'll hook you up. Or Alfred. <laughs> Yeah, but I'll, I'll just refer you to Esther. <laughs> Listen, I want to uh, say just one more thing. You know, people often say, oh, it's just Etna, the mountains. Well, no. There's the Madonia and the Nabrodi. And on both those mountain ranges, there's also lots to do and see. You know, we didn't talk about horseback riding. They're skiing oh, on Etna. They're skiing on Etna, believe it or not. Uh, but uh, all those three mountain ranges here in Sicily, Etna, Madonia, and uh, the Nebrodi offer great experiences, unique views, great foods for sure, and some great experiences. I want to ask, answer a question that a viewer uh, sent us. Uh, <laughs> Wait, let's do the question and then let's give my well, answer and your <laughs> answer. All right. The question was... Dear Alfred and Esther, I love your program. We, I watch it all the time, but I want to kind of know what's up with you two. Are you cousins? Cousins? Brother or sister? Brother and sister or married? Please help me out. That was the question. <laughs> so Al tells me, he says, why don't you say you adopted me? I'm like, what do you mean you ad- I adopted you? What are you talking about? What do you mean how I adopted you? Then I was like, do we look alike, brother and sister, cousin? She, said, she stared at our picture, one of our pictures last <laughs> night, and she actually said to me, Alfred, do we look alike? How can someone think we're brother and sister? I did not. Thank anyway, God that so this woman clarify, didn't, this woman clarify. didn't say, I'm glad that this woman did not say, is Esther your daughter? That's what I was worried about, because... We've had that happen. Anyway, so, <laughs> Alfred and I are boyfriend and girlfriend. Yes, Wouldn't I hear the really funny thing, though? In 2013, when we first started speaking about this project, the You, Me, and Sicily project, uh, in Massachusetts, in Lawrence and Andover, in that area, we had no, no plans of getting together. It was strictly business. Strictly business, right? In that's, fact, that's that was so wrong. In, in fact, that on your so part, so on your part, levels. wait a second, wait a second, on your part. Even my mom, remember my pajamas? There was a pajama because I, I knew it was going to be really hot. So it was a little bit, you know, loose, summery, short shorts, just for the night. My mom looks at me and she goes, you're not going to wear that around the house, right? I said, Mom, I looked at the temperature. It's supposed to be scorching hot in June, July, August. I can't wear my regular pajamas. First of all, it was a negligee. Let's get that <laughs> right out not. there. It was not. I still have it. Okay. It was a top and a bottom, and it was a rainbow in a, color. In any case, Basta. it was not off, a negligee. We started off as a working business relationship. So wait a sec. Let's fast forward to 2014, June. And how long did it take you to kiss me? <laughs> you kissed me, Esther. I was minding my own business. She came up to me and kissed me, and she wasn't drunk or anything. Do you so believe that, this? That was it. Do I mean, you believe this? Basically, that was it. I was, I, you know, as a matter of fact, I was saying the rosary that night, as I remember. Oh, yeah, in bed. I was saying the rosary in bed, and then the next thing you know, but it, here's the thing, okay? We've been together eight years. June and, 2014. And I'm very happy that uh, she came into my life at this late stage of my life, because I'm over, tw- I'm 20 years, 21 years, almost 21 years older than Esther. But it's been a great experience for me. Uh, it's really, I don't know what exactly it's done to me. It's kind of like empowered me to do more creative things at this age. Because I have, if you look at my history, I've got a whole history of doing stuff, so to speak. 
and uh, she's enjoyed it. Haven't you enjoyed it? Well, I've had the whole history of doing Stuff things to do big accomplishments, right. but right. I have to tell you, you really, really enhanced my life, and it's been a pleasure doing this project of You, Me, and Sicily. I've learned so much from you, Thank for you. sure. And um, dare yeah. I say, dare yeah. I say, dare yeah. I say. Go ahead, honey. What, what are you going to say? The best job I've ever had. For sure, the more most fulfilling, and uh, am I gonna say this on air? I think so. The best boyfriend I ever had. Oh my God! <laughs> you know what it is about us True. is that we do not go with the flow; rather, we make the flow. You posted that on Facebook yeah, the other day. We do. We post the. Fl we make our own flow, and there's lots of you folks who like what we do. Okay. Yes, I'm opinionated. Yes, she's opinionated, but for some reason. Yes, you're a pain in the butt. I'm a pain and in yes, the butt. And yes, sometimes no I can be it. a pain in the butt. <laughs> but in any case, it works, and we want to continue to. And we're not, we're not done. No, no, no. We're not done. We're not done. There's a lot of stuff going on now, uh, in August and September. For example, I'm going to give you one good for instance. Okay. Besides, we have Gaetano Chipola. Yeah, and we have some festivals that I don't want to mention yet in case something happens, you know. But we were at an interesting place this morning. We stopped at Cafe Victoria and Archie, Archie uh, San, Antonio. San Antonio for coffee this morning because we were kind of gallivanting or doing our regular Saturday morning stuff. And the gal was telling me that they had changed the whole exterior over there where they set it up for karaoke. They probably had maybe seating for 100 there, yeah. right? So I says, what's going on? She says, oh, every Thursday we do... Thursday and Saturday nights. Thir Thursday and Saturday nights, right. At 8.30, they, we do karaoke, and it's been getting very, very popular. I said, wow. She says, yeah, you have to come... What is it, Saturday night? Saturday night. Saturday nights, we have our barbecue. barbecue. So I said, what's on the barbecue? So she said, and she was kind of like this. She goes, oh, a big sandwich like this. I said, really? I says, what's in the sandwich? And she says, oh, uh, hamburger. So I said, no, but well, first she said horse meat. Yeah, horse, horse meat, meat or beef, and then sausage. Right, horse v no, vitello, veal, which is beef, or so I'm thinking about it all day. I haven't had a horse meat sandwich since we did that video. Since we did that piece with the late Vincent Tone in 2015. Right, and I'm. I, and, Are you tempted? But, 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 but Are you I, tempted? Yes, I am. But you know why? Because I looked at the sandwich, and there were so many other things in there. Wait a sec. The sandwich you looked at was something different. That was the hamburger that they offer now on well, the menu. The that was okay. the picture of that. Here's the thing. And I was, I was thinking about this. The panino that they have on Saturday nights is 5 euro. So yeah. I'm thinking of getting one panino of the veal and one panino of the carne caballo, the horse. No way. I'm, and I'm not going to eat them both. Okay? Just take a bite? Take a bite each and definitively design and say what horse meat tastes like. Okay. So I'm going to do that. Stay tuned for that. It's, I have to get I enough nerve up for that. no part in that. No did that, part. The last time I did that... Uh, I remember distinctly, as soon as she shut the camera down, I spit it out you of spit my it. mouth. Yeah, I did the same was, thing. It, I, I did the I, same thing. I felt thing. like I was eating Mr. Ed. Remember Mr. Yeah, Ed from the you, TV? In, in yeah. fact, you said that in the video. And, and, but I'm going to anyway, try it again. So anyway, anyway, so uh, I want to know, first of all, we're going to have Gaetano Cipolla, the great Gaetano Cipolla, on. We're going to interview him next week, and I want to hear from you guys what you want to know from him. He's, of course, the great historian, the great Sicilian um, in the United States, great ambassador uh, for Sicily. He'll be here in Sicily, and uh, I already have a set of questions for him, but I want to know really what you guys want to hear. So send me a message, leave me a comment, and all of that. The other thing um, I wanted to go back to the festivals, that it's really starting out to be a great festival um, season here in Sicily, back to what it was in 2019. And it's great to see that after two years, they've really expanded and improved on some of the things that they had. So it's a great thing to see, and I look forward to maybe visiting one of the festivals nearby us in the next I want to go weeks. to the Anchovy Festival. That's a great in festival. In Valverde. In Valverde. I mean, they have, they have anchovies that... Anchovies 
everything. You couldn't think of, but they also sell. They Other have a items. friend over there that has the Chris, Chris Bally. What's his name? Do you remember? No, that's another guy. Oh, okay. uh, we didn't, we we have we like the, the one we like that guy in Balberde. Okay, but no, no, he's not going to be there. In they fact, good, Karen, remember good. we took Karen and Tom Galati when they were here on tour. I think that was the last time you had a Chris Belly. I haven't had a Chris Belly in about eight October. months. That was last October. Last October. I mean, no wonder I've been Ooh. jonesing for them. Moly. But uh, usually I don't like to eat those uh, Chris Bellies n at this time of the year. I like to wait until it's the end of August, yeah, September. Yeah, they're rich. They're rich you know, with the know. ricotta, Yeah, because right now it's so damn hot. It's so damn hot. Who wants to eat anyways? But I'll tell you what has been But good listen, uh, back in the Via Grande, Via Grande. excuse me, Valverde, Valverde Via Grande, yeah. Valverde, it's going to be a very interesting because I already saw the program. They're going to have some music, so stay tuned for that. I love listening to local Sicilian music. And then in September, I you're going to be gallivanting all over the place, All right? over the place. All over the place. September like, and October. We're jammed up September, completely solo. In October, what do we got going in October? We've got, I've got... Tours until about the twentieth, and then in November, oh, October we have nothing the second. In November, so we are available for private, and we will have our Christmas tour in December. I'm going home for two weeks in October to be my second trip, but then I won't be going home again till next next. Jimmy year Ingram in July. is going to be here to help me hold down the fort. Yep, Jimmy that's Ingram is coming to help us up, and that's going to be a good thing. But we just put up. Is it up yet? What? The Christmas tour. No, okay. the June of next year tour. With, that's up? That's up. Okay. The June 2023 tour, when we go to the West Coast, is up. And Chris uh, Leone is working on the Christmas, Christmas tour. tour. Okay. But if you have any questions, just That should be me. up when? That should be up soon. Or if not, email me. My email yeah. is on our YouTube page. My email is on our website, www.youmeandcicely.com. Limited to eight people. That's all. The Christmas The, net, the Christmas to, one, yeah. Christmas but has to be. How the many? one in June, limited how's to 14. That, how's that one doing so far for the We just announced. Don't we have some deferments for that tour? For, probably. I'm not sure. Yeah. We, so when, <laughs> it's a story on the May 23, for next May. The are big one. close to being sold out. 17 wow. days or nine days, and then, or nine and seven it's days. A pot A and a pot B. Part B, there. yeah. It's going to be all along the east coast of Sicily. Is that up too? That's not that? up because we're almost sold out, so okay, I don't want to so put it up. So we decided not to put it up, but if you're interested in the. In Definitely our, message me. Did you have a question for me you wanted to ask? Yes, me I do have a question for you, Esther, and I, I, this is like really important to me, okay? Now, after eight years, you haven't changed at all. What are you okay. talking about? You're in actually better condition today than you were eight years ago. You look younger, healthier, Aww. wiser, etc. <laughs> People have asked me, what is Esther's secret? So for now, I would like to figure oh, out... Oh, no. What Don't is, put please. me on the spot. Go ahead. What is your secret? Good living in Sicily. Healthy eating. Good mindset, good boyfriend, good eating, Lord Jesus Christ, and, and some it. others. <laughs> and what? And some other minor ones. Basically, we both live like the Sicilians do, the true Sicilians. We live every day like it's our last day. When we go to bed at night, we have no regrets. Am I correct in saying that? Amen. Amen. So anyways, with that in mind, Esther. <sighs> okay, thank you for being here. If you enjoyed it, please hit the like, share it with a friend. And, oh yeah, have you subscribed to our channel? Please subscribe to You, Me, and Sicily. And we'll bring you many, many more videos. Thank you so much for being here. We love you. Ciao. Sabanadiga. <laughs>